Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am back today with a little Happy Mail Birthday Edition. I hope you'll stick around and see what I've received recently. A great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers. And if this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap that bell for notifications. So Saturday, April the 11th was my birthday and I had a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll share a little bit more about that with you later. But for now, I kind of want to tell you what today's video is going to entail. I thought since my P.O. box was pretty stuffed this week and I have gotten in some fun crafty and a non-crafty item, I would share that with you as well as the cards I got from friends and family. And speaking of cards from my family, I think that I'll start with those first and I'll tell you the story about my birthday. I was a little bit worried that my 43rd birthday might not be my best one ever just because we were kind of stuck at home and we couldn't go out and do anything special. But I have to tell you it ended up being one of my most favorite birthdays of my adult life probably. Since we couldn't go out and do things, my husband and my daughter came up with a list of stuff they thought I might like to do for the day. So the first thing they did was they baked me a birthday cake. I think it was the first time either of them had made a cake from a box and it was delicious. We got, I think it was Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker. It was a French vanilla cake. Mmm, yummy. And then it had some strawberry frosting on it. So if you have a quarantine birthday, I would suggest putting those two items in your online shopping cart. Once they were done baking the cake, they went out and got me my breakfast that I wanted. I love bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits from McDonald's and their Fountain Diet Coke. And I hadn't had either in a long time since the self-isolation and the quarantine. So they went out and they got me my biscuit and my Diet Cokes. So once we ate our breakfast, it was on to the next item on their list for me, and that was to make cards together. And I didn't think it would be that fun, but it ended up being a blast. Sometimes my daughter will craft with me, but my husband never has, and he was going to make me a birthday card since they really couldn't get out and get them. I luckily had an old paper pumpkin kit that I had never used. It was from March of 2019 and it was all about birthdays. So they used the items in the kit to create a card. And my husband really went all out and customized his card and made it very special. I will show you that up close here in just a little bit. But I have to say, I hope that maybe we get to craft together more often. It was rather fun. Some of the other highlights from the day where we played some trivia, um, my husband made sure that he took care of every meal for us, which was nice. And then at night after dinner, we watched Tom Hanks in A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. I had been wanting to watch it for a while and we hadn't got around to it. So I got to pick the movie and I loved it. Let me know below if you've seen it and what you thought of the movie. I have to say, I definitely thought it would be more about just Mr. Rogers. So it was a nice surprise and I really did end up enjoying it. Before we get to what was in my P.O. box and my other goodies that came in, I wanted to share with you the cards I got from friends and family. Over on the right, this card is from my mom. She used one of the free stamps from the recent paper pumpkin kit for this little flower basket. And then there's lots of shine and sparkle on the card. I loved it. My sister sent this card. It really isn't a birthday. It was just a general note and for Easter since that was the next day. I just love these little bunnies and the fun paper. This next card is from my friend Danny, and you may recognize her name. She is the one who I do the four on Friday collaboration with and she makes beautiful cards. I just love her coloring. and I love all these cute little animals. I'll link her blog below so you can go check out her other creations. I know that you're going to love it there. Next up was a card from my brother and sister-in-law. And this was, I believe, a card actually that my mom had made. And she gave my sister-in-law some cards just to send out. And then finally here, we better go with my daughter's first because my husband definitely thinks I need to save the best for last. My daughter made this card for me and she stamped some of the balloon stamps from the kit onto a die cut that I had and then made some confetti in the background. And then on the inside, she did the 
3D cake and she die cut some of the balloons out of the background. And then finally for my husband, he had a whole story behind this scene. The three was being carried away by the balloons, but you'll see here there's this little this little hand on the four and it's trying to hold down the three from floating away but alas it did get away and it knocked off the rd from 43rd one of the things i really like that he added was he cut little strips for highlights on the balloons here so if you want to leave him some love below let him know what you thought about his card before we get to what came in my P.O. box, I thought I would share with you some other goodies I got in the mail this week. The first was a whole bunch of stamp sets from Sweet and Sassy Stamps. You know that I love their Be Encouraged stamp set. So I got Be Encouraged too, as well as some other faith-based sentiments, including the free stamp of the month. But I also got this stamp set and I mainly got it for the little paint splatter. I've been seeing a lot of these lately on cards and I just love it and I didn't have anything like it. So I was happy they had a set with it. And then there are some other elements as well that could be neat backgrounds on cards. I will go ahead now and pop up on the screen each of the sets that I purchased. And if any of these appeal to you, I do have them linked in the description box below. And finally for my goodies, a little happy birthday to me from me. It is the latest issue of Allure with the Dixie Chicks on it and a special interview inside. I am a huge Dixie Chicks fan. I cannot wait until May 1st when their new album comes out. So I decided to treat myself to this and I cannot wait to read the article. And now I want to share with you what I've gotten from my P.O. Box. Normally I would do this feature at the end of the month, but because I had so many in there when I went in on Friday, and because some people had contacted me saying they might like to send me a birthday card, I decided to go ahead and do mid-month a birthday special of these. So some of these might be show us your sheet loads, and others just might be happy mail cards. This first one is from Colleen W., and she has used the latest sheet load of cards to create her card. This is the April 2020 sheet load. Such an adorable Easter card. And Colleen has written me a little note inside. So I just want to say I did get your message, Colleen. Thank you. Next up is from Wanda R. Wanda, I did see your message as well. Thank you for that. She has also used the April 2020 sheet load like those fun bright colors and look at these cute little birds thank you wanda the next one is from jacqueline c oh fun look at that there's a little tag in the pocket at the front oh and on the inside there's another little pocket here with a little note in it let me go read this i'll be right back all right, so I read the note and Jacqueline has actually challenged me to tag some of my crafty friends or family members and send them cards and ask them to pass it along as well. Jacqueline, I think I'll take you up on that. Thank you so much. Next is from Nancy L. Hers has a little birthday hat on here. Yes, it is a birthday card for me. I love those papers, Nancy. Those are gorgeous. I'm going to read the inside quickly. So Nancy had wished me a happy birthday in there and congratulated me on my 10,000 subscribers. And she said that this card was actually created from one of the background or border paper ideas that I shared recently. Thank you so much, Nancy. The next one is from Mary C. Oh, Mary has also used the April 2020 sheet load of cards. Loving this. I keep seeing people use this die and I just love it every time I see it. These papers are gorgeous and she has also decorated the inside. I like that. Thank you so much. That is gorgeous. 
Next, I have two envelopes from Christina M. First one is a thank you card, and this is a sheet load of cards with a little fun Z fold opening. Lots of sparkle on there. And then, oh, another sheet load, the April 2020. This one has kind of a zoo theme. Love that, so pretty. And Christina, I got your note inside, thank you. Next is a card from Naomi H. I recognize her name for sure. Naomi is a subscriber who is always making cards for soldiers, and you probably are recognizing her name by now as well. I shared some more about her cards last month, and I gave you that Cards for Soldiers Facebook page. I'll go ahead too and link it below again if you wanna check it out. She always has the neatest military-themed paper, and she has also used the April 2020 sheet load. Thank you, Naomi. And finally, I'm not sure of the name on these. The address is on the back and they both have the same address. So once we open these up, we'll know who sent them. I see somebody has made a clear card. They must know me and know I love them. I love that heart on there. These are from Sue. She had contacted me. She's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I had mentioned when I made cards with last month's paper pumpkin kit how much I love those teeny tiny clear embellishments and she said she had some to send me. Thank you so much, Sue. I am definitely going to put these to use. That was so kind. And then finally, Sue sent in some cards based upon some of the sheet loads. On this first card, these are some papers and stickers she got in her Echo Park warehouse box. I shared with you, I think it was last month, what I got in mine. And then for this one, she used the January 2020 sheet load of cards. Thank you, Sue, for sharing those with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.